After supplying the S-400 missile defense system to Turkey, the Russian government forbade it to sell it to the United States, U.S., without Moscow's permission. This was conveyed by a spokesman for the Russian Federal Service for Military and Technical Cooperation, Maria Vrubiova, as reported by Reuters, citing Interfax News Agency, yesterday, 1-7-2020. Vrabiova's remarks were in response to Republican Senate member John Thune, who proposed a law that allowed President Donald Trump's government to buy Russia's S-400 missile defense system from Turkey. The proposal was praised by former Pentagon official Jim Townsend as an intelligent tactic, exploiting Moscow's sophisticated missile system technology and removing it from Ankara. This sophisticated Russian-made defense weapon has sparked a dispute between Washington and Ankara after President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's government determined to buy it from Moscow despite opposition from America. America since its inception opposed to Erdogan's government acquiring the Russian missile system on the grounds it could endanger US F-35 stealth jet fighters, including opening opportunities for Moscow to learn the secrets of the jet fighters' weaknesses. Another reason, the S-400 is not compatible with NATO's defense system. However, Erdogan's government was determined to buy it and made the government of President Donald Trump expel Ankara from membership of the consortium program along with F-35 stealth fighter jets. In fact, Washington has suspended delivery of fighter jets that Turkey has bought. Senator Thune is considering amending the National Defense Authorization Act, NDAA, 2021 that could allow Washington to buy Russian dangerous military devices through the U.S. Army's procurement budget. Turkey signed an agreement to buy four missile system batteries from Russia in September 2017 at a price of nearly US$2.5 billion. Turkey has so far received the first batch of defense weapons which cost US$1.3 billion, and the second batch at a cost of US$1.2 billion is still in process. The agreement signed between Moscow and Ankara has not been disclosed to the public, therefore details of the transfer of technology and joint production, as well as other details such as the possibility of selling defense systems to third parties are not publicly available. In early June, Russian ambassador to Ankara Alexei Yehov said in an interview with Turkish CNN that Russia would not have a defiant attitude towards what Turkey was doing with the missile system because Ankara was the owner of the system. However, looking at recent statements by Russian officials, it appears that Turkey is permitted to use the S-400 as suggested by the Russian ambassador, but is not permitted to sell it to the United States.